Hi there. I'm going to do my best to predict what's going to come up in this year's Leave Insert uh, Chemistry exam. Uh, let's start with the mandatory experiments in section A. I, I think it's really worth focusing on these, and if you can do three of these questions in this section, it'll really set you up well for section B, where you'll have a lot more choice for material that's a bit more unpredictable. For question one, then, the titrations, it's been quite a few years since we've seen the ethanoic acid titration. It's also been a while since we've seen the iron tablet titration and the iodine thiosulfate titration. Also keep an eye out for the water of crystallization titration. For question two, our organic experiment question, it's a bit more difficult to predict because sometimes question two is spread out over a number of questions. However, I would definitely know the oxidation of phenylmethanol to benzoic acid and the recrystallization of benzoic acid. These often could come up in the same question. Also keep an eye on the extraction of clove oil and the preparation of soap. It's been a little bit of time since we've seen these two. Question 3 could very well be determining the molecular mass of a volatile liquid. And as we've said in the videos, if this comes up, make sure you can describe the method. Also, the effect of concentration or temperature on the rate of reaction is very possible. And lastly, while it doesn't come up very often, it has been a long time since we've seen it, so do make sure you know the determination of the concentration of free chlorine in swimming pool water. Question 4, of course, is spread out over the entire course, but it is really well worth doing this question as there is some choice within the question. Um, if you're aiming for a H1 or a H2, I would definitely consider this question. Question 5 will be on the periodic table and the atom. Don't forget the flame test experiment if you're thinking of doing this. You'll need to remember those colors. Question 6, of course, will be on fuels and thermochemistry. So make sure if you're going to do this that you're comfortable with Hess's law calculations, as these will definitely come up. This year, I think chemical equilibrium will make up a full question, so that will be either question 7 or question 9. So make sure you're good with these calculations if you're going to do this question. pH and indicators will probably make up the other question, either 7 or 9. They didn't get a full question last year, so I think they probably will this year. Question 10 and 11 are pretty predictable. There'll be a stoichiometry question. Oxidation and reduction will appear here, so make sure you can balance those equations. Bonding will also probably appear in 10 and 11 if it doesn't come up as part of question 5 with the periodic table and the atom. Maybe radioactivity will get a part of 10 and 11. Water and environmental chemistry will probably show up somewhere here. It's hard to know what that will be about, but probably hardness in water, removing hardness. And make sure you know calculations on, on finding the BOD. Um, also keep an eye on chromatography. We haven't seen that in a long time. Lastly, if rates doesn't show up in question three, where we look at the concentration and temp how concentration and temperature affects the rate of reaction, then it'll almost certainly show up as a part of question 10 or 11. So make sure you know the ideal gas equation and how to use it. Okay, that's it. I hope that helps and the best of luck with your exams.